listen, you know that you're doing something right when you do this. It's also a really big highlight on who to distance from. And this doesn't matter who, how they're related to you. Nobody gets some special weird boundary. And they are the people who get mad that you're not mad that they are mad about your boundaries. Because not only are they upset that they're not getting their way, they have entitlement. They feel entitled to an opinion. You ever see that on socials? I'm sure you do. Where you're like, if you don't like something, you just keep scrolling. But everybody's like, oh, no, I'm going to tell you how nasty people are. I'm like, oh, my God. People get entitled. So what you have to remember is when you're setting a boundary, baby, and you're the villain and people are pissed off, that's a good thing. That's a freaking great thing because you don't have to explain your boundary to any freaking body. And they most certainly don't have to enjoy it. Certainly get in your headspace about it because let me tell you. It's perfectly okay to be disliked because you're putting yourself as a priority. It's perfectly okay to have people go, oh my God, and try to smear you because you have a boundary. Do not get that twisted. Only the people who need to be in your space are the people who want to see you win. The people who want to buck your boundaries do not.